Okay, today we're going to be comparing two different cloud storage platforms. Think of these services as similar to Google Drive or OneDrive, only not owned by two large data gathering companies. PCloud versus IceDrive. Rather than going with tired old concepts, these balloons each represent two companies. At the end of this video, the loser gets popped alongside all of their hopes and dreams. That seems a little dramatic. Also, it's not very- Oh, shut up, I'm out of ideas, okay? We're going to be rating them by eight categories. Features, file management, storage and sync, file sharing, security, pricing, including lifetime deals, server locations, user experience. The winner of each round will receive one balloon survival point. More points gives you a greater chance of survival. And much like Rambo, these two have no feelings because after all, they are balloons. Also, if you like either of these platforms, then you'll find deep discounts for both in the description. So let's get started. First, let's inspect pCloud. pCloud has established itself as a trustworthy company in that time, bragging about its 16 million users. We established this because pCloud has experience and therefore way more features. Some of the best pCloud features include data migration, which saves you from needing to download and re-upload your files when switching from another service to pCloud. pCloud Save, which lets you save screenshots you find online using a Firefox or Chrome extension. A media player, which allows you to stream audio stored on your cloud storage without downloading it. I know what you might be thinking, isn't that what Spotify is for? Oh no, I think pCloud has just dated itself to being back from the time when burning a CD meant something to someone. It's been... 84 years. We will delve more into the file sharing and storage base features for pCloud later, but these optional features are still pretty handy. iStrive by comparison is a bit more light. iStrive's most important feature is the ability to preview files before downloading. Through this, you can watch video and listen to audio without downloading, but the media player is weaker than pCloud's. Neither of these platforms offer collaborative features such as simultaneous editing, Google Docs integration, or Microsoft integration. Still, pCloud has the edge on optional features, providing them with the first Rambo balloon. But what about file management? In our file management section, we strive to answer two questions. Do they have any file size or type limitations? Also, how does their trash work? First, it's important to note that pCloud doesn't have any file size or transfer limitations. What this means is that if you have to upload a large zip file, any of the plans they have can help you. You just can't exceed the overall limit, which will break down in the pricing section. pCloud also allows you to recover your trash or restore changed files from up to the past 30 days if you are a paying customer. Even free customers get up to 15 days to recover mistakenly deleted files, which is pretty generous. iStrive, by comparison, is weaker in file management features. First, iStrive sets a per month bandwidth limitation from 3 to 5,000 gigabytes. This means that if you need to upload a bunch of files at once, you might have to wait two months before you can send everything. iStrive does better with deleted files or changed files. After all, it allows you unlimited time to go back and retrieve old versions of these files, making accidental deletions or changes a risk that you don't have to worry about. Oh, I doubt those files are going to stay fresh after so long in the trash. iStrive gets the edge in this section. Now we come to what is arguably the most important part of accessing your cloud storage, file syncing and storage. If you've used services like OneDrive, you know it's handy to have your files automatically sync, regardless of where you change them. iStrive is fairly new to this game, only allowing for this feature recently. So if we would have done this review when iStrive first started, well, you know, it doesn't go well iStrive allows you to divide syncing into two different folders. A local folder, one that syncs, and an online folder, one that stays online. This way you can designate an existing folder from your system to connect to your iStrive one, allowing you to make updates easily. pCloud, by extension, takes this a step further by allowing you to establish rules based on file formats and names. Even better, when syncing, pCloud's advanced system only updates file parts. This means you don't need to upload the entire file, only part of it, when you change the file, saving you bandwidth. Otherwise, the two are virtually identical in syncing. So in this case, pCloud gets a slight edge 
giving them the survival balloon. This brings us to an interesting stage, file sharing. Both companies allow you to share a public link or limit sharing by password protection. However, pCloud is the only one of these two that offers you statistics about your files. This includes how much they are accessed, the overall traffic, and a weekly summary. If you're running a business, this can be handy information. iStrive doesn't have this information, even though it does fine with file sharing. So pCloud ultimately is the better of the two. With a 3 to 1 ratio so far, you might think that pCloud has this thing in the bag. But slow down there, cowboy, we've still got four more sections to go through. So let's move on to a topic we talk about a lot on this channel, security. So as the larger group, you might think pCloud has the most resources to get the best security. After all, pCloud takes advantage of Swiss privacy laws, which are honestly less intrusive than other places. Switzerland, being neutral, stays out of the global surveillance alliances that typically require companies to track data. pCloud, along with iStrive, both use zero-knowledge server technology, meaning that even the company owners can't access your data. pCloud does this as well, just in another place. Also, both companies support two-factor authentication, which prevents your data from being stolen. So, pCloud is the winner, right? Wrong! In fact, iStrive is the more ideal security choice, as it includes high-grade encryption protocols with all plans except for the free plan. It makes use of two fish, which is nearly at the same level as the famed AES-256, a protocol often used to hide traffic in virtual private networks like NordVPN or Surfshark. This means that there is virtually no chance of your data being stolen, and it's an included feature of all that iStrive offers. Now, pCloud has this feature as well, but requires you to pay extra to use it. Now, this adds another $4 a month, or $125 to your lifetime pricing. Also, because it might make you think twice about buying, pCloud doesn't draw attention to this. You have to find this special spot in the encryption tab, which is on the upper right corner. So, iStrive gets the survival balloon this round, bringing the score to 3-2 in favor of pCloud. Now, the pricing is a pretty big deal today. After all, who could blame you at the cost of, well, everything at the moment? Thankfully, we have great politicians out there like Jimmy McMillan, reminding us, well, that... With both companies, you have two big choices, annual payments or lifetime plans. iStrive also has monthly payments, but we won't focus on those given that they aren't very cost effective. Starting with pCloud, you get two annual options, premium 500 gigabytes for $50 or a premium plus two terabyte for $100. For lifetime plans, you have three options through pCloud, premium 500 gigabytes at $175, Premium Plus 2 terabyte at $350, and a custom 10 terabyte plan at $990. Focusing on the first two plans, the lifetime plan only starts becoming cost effective after the third year. iStrive, by comparison, offers three different yearly plans. The light plan, offering 150 gigabytes of storage for $20 a year. The pro plan, offering one terabyte of storage for $50 a year and the Pro Plus plan, offering 5 terabytes of storage for $180 a year. Lifetime plans under iStrive stick with the same three options, costing you $99, $299, and $599 respectively. So, when comparing the two, they are pretty close. However, iStrive gets the slight edge, because it's the only plan that offers pricing as low as $20. Of course, this edge is dangerous for our survival balloon, especially knowing that we are tied at 3 to 3. Server locations. Worldwide access will often determine how fast you can access your data. More locations means often a more robust infrastructure. Now, both countries handle two general regions, the US and the UK. pCloud has servers in Texas, best known for that one SpongeBob joke. Look, Patrick, I'm Texas. Hey, howdy, y'all. I'm Texas, howdy, too. Howdy, y'all. Get a dog, little ah! honey and Luxembourg, known for being the world's richest country, and Amazon's HQ. iStrive, by comparison, has them in the US, UK, and Germany. All of them are in undisclosed locations, so way to be mysterious, iStrive. Regardless, the better European coverage gives iStrive a slight edge on getting the survival balloon of this round. So this brings us to the final round as a 4-3 competition with only one area to cover. Now, user experience is a pretty big deal. 
You want your system to be easy to use. After all, you'll likely be accessing your files every day on it. After all, a bad UI makes you pretty frustrated. <laughs> So, which lineup of apps will give you the least amount of frustration? Well, this one goes to the veteran, pCloud. pCloud offers web, desktop, and mobile apps across all major platforms. You can also get a Linux version and browser extensions to save images and videos directly from your browser to the digital drive. iStrive, by comparison, offers services on Windows, Mac OS, their website, iOS, and Android. There's no browser app for easy uploads and the interfaces, and no Linux support. The interface behind all of them is older. pCloud offers a cleaner and overall faster interface. So, without getting too far into it, pCloud wins the final survival balloon. Well, it looks like we've got a tie. You know what that means. We've got to justify why iStrive is the better overall winner. So, in our minds, greater weight must be given to security and pricing above all. Security is big because, well, there's plenty of people who want their grubby hands on your data. When you don't have to pay extra for it, that's great. Also, money's pretty tight these days, so most people will suffer through a slightly worse interface to save what could be hundreds of dollars. That being said, iStrive isn't necessarily bad in those departments, just newer. Of course, you might have a different opinion. Regardless of which you prefer, you'll find discounts for both in the description. Let us know which one you prefer in the comment section below, and also take the time to like and subscribe to our channel, because it helps us grow, which is something that we appreciate. Thanks for watching, see you next time.